This time we'll solve the move puzzle from the book Gödler Escher Bach. And yeah, this is just a little fun exercise. Nothing uh, too hard, but let's start. So suppose we have an alphabet consisting of M, I and U. So this is our alphabet. So, and now we are uh, allowed to pr produce words by the following rules. So, um, as a start string, we have given M I, and now we have certain rules, and the goal is to use these rules to get the string mu. Okay, so let's write down the rules. So the first rule is uh, <coughs> rule one is if we have a string mx, then we can produce, so let's say, let's call this language L. So if MX is an L, then also MXX is an L. So this just means, for instance, consider we have MI is an L, then we also have MII in L, and from MII in L we get that M and then four I's is an L. And or for instance, let's make another example. If we have if we would have M I U in L, I don't claim yet that this is the case, just that if that was the case, that would imply imply that M I U I U is an L. Okay, so that's the first rule. Now let's look at the second rule. So if um, if the last letter of a word in L is I, you may append an you may append an U. A U. So um, let's make another example. So from M I in L, we would get that M I U is an L. But um, for instance, we couldn't make um, this is allowed. Let's take. This now this is not allowed. Um, let's see. So we also append the U, but the I is not the last letter of the word, so that's not allowed. Okay, so let's go on with the third rule. So this one just says you may cancel. Um, u u so u u is cancelled to the empty string. So let's make another example. So if we would have that m u u is an l again, I don't claim that this is the case. Just if it was, then we would have that m is an l, or also if m U, UI was an L, then we would get that MI is an L. Okay, so that's the third rule, and now let's go on to the fourth and last rule. 
this says that if well you can you can substitute substitute three eyes with a u so let's see an example so if we have m i i i then we could make m u i or we could also say if we have m i i, I we could make m i u or yeah you can think of other th things like if you have m i i u so let's say this is an l so, um then we could make m u u an l and if we use the cancel rule we would also get that m is an l Okay, so these are the rules. Um, I will write, afterwards I will write, yeah, let's see. Maybe I'll write these implications just as I leave out the element L and the implication and make just a little arrow to indicate that we get one word from the other, but let's see, maybe I don't need it at all. But now let's see. What do we want? So we want to to produce the string mu from the string mi. And we want to produce this by only using the rules one to four, and we can use them freely however we want. We can apply them if we want, but we don't have to apply. So if they apply more rules, we can apply any rule we want. So for instance, let me make an example. So if we have the string muu, we could make the string m, or we could also make by the doubling muuu, u, u. yeah, for use. Okay, that's it. So now I would actually encourage you to try to solve this because it's quite interesting and well yeah at least it's fun and so I'll show you the solution in a minute and it's good to get a feeling for it before you actually uh, see the solution and yeah so let's Let's see the solution. Um, so actually, I haven't read the solution in the book yet. I'm not that far in the book, so I, I hope um, I have the right solution, but I think it should work out. And if there's any mistake in what I'm doing here, please point it out. So let's go for the solution. So let's analyze this uh, thing. So we start with mi. And so in the end, we want to have no more i's. And um, we want to have just, just a u. So uh, let's look at the rules. This uh, first rule, this doubling rule, might be important. Then the second rule could also be important third as well, but the fourth one is especially important because we want to um, we want to have no more eyes in there in the end. So this rule is kind of important. So let's look at this rule a little closer. So we can substitute three eyes with a u. So in the end, or maybe not, let's say, 
at some point so this is now just a motivation for the formal solution but at some point we want to have have um, that 3 divides the number of i's. So let me write it just like this. Or maybe I'll also leave out that. So by that I mean the number of i's in, in the word, because that's certainly necessary, because we want to have that all i's get cancelled out. So, and this, this is the important, um, the thing you should realize, because from now on, the rest is, is doable if you have this observation. So, let's see. So now let's analyze it a little bit more formal. So we start with mi. So in the start, we have one i. And now let's, um, and one is of course congruent one modulo three. And now we look at modulo 3 because we want that 3 divides the number of i's so we want that in the end the number of i's is congruent to 0 modulo 3 so that's the reason why we look at this so this is the start and now let's look at the rules so we have this necessary condition that 3 divides the number of i's and um, we, it's not sufficient, but it's certainly necessary. So let's look at the rules. So the first rule says we may double the, um, the part after the M. So this, um, let's maybe denote or yeah, let's say, so this is, um, let me see how I write it down. So what I want to say is that the number of i's is multiplied by 2. So, um, yeah, maybe I just write it out. Literally, so this is multiplied by 2 if we, if we apply the first rule. Okay, and now you might might also want to look at what does this mean for the number of i's modulo 3. So we start with 1. So if we would have um, 1 times 2, well, that's not too hard. So then... We have 2 times 2, which is 1, and 0 times 2, which is 0. So if we want to arrive at this necessary condition for the i's, this first rule doesn't help us to arrive at this condition. It might help us in other ways, but not at arriving at this condition, because we would all, if we want to have that 3 divides the number of i's, then we would also have to have it already beforehand. Because if we have, if the number of i's is 1 modulo 3, we get afterwards that it's 2, and if it's 2, we get that it's 1. So let's look at rule 2. So you may append on u, so well, the number of i's is unchanged. 
nothing interesting here for this um, three divides the number of i's you may cancel u u okay so that's the same so number of i's is unchanged now let's look at um, rule 4 so at rule 4 the number if you apply rule 4 number of i gets set to the number of i minus 3 so here's after applying the rule here before applying the rule okay and that means basically that modulo 3 the number of i's is unchanged again so what do we get from here so we get that the number of i's can never be zero modulo 3 by so we start with one and if we apply these four rules so these rules here then we see that if we start with this we can never arrive at zero modulo 3 but we need to arrive at zero because the only way we can cancel out i's is with rule 4 so if we want to cancel out i's oops we need rule 4 and that's why we need that 3 divides the number of i's and we see in this part here that 3 doesn't divide the number of i's so that's actually not possible so the solution is with this analysis here we get that the solution we can't get mu from mi by just applying rules 1 to 4. So actually it's not possible. So don't worry if you have tried to solve it and you didn't find a solution. There isn't a solution. So that's it for today. I hope you had fun with this video. Um, yeah, maybe see you another time. Have a good day and bye.